Now let's look at another Chinese client state, one more that's gripped in turmoil, Myanmar. For about three weeks now, Myanmar's military junta has been fighting rebels. It started in the eastern state of Shan, and now it has spread across the country, even to Myanmar's border with India. This happened yesterday. Reports say rebels seized a town near India's border, the town of Rikhodar. It's across the border from Mizoram in India. This is the northwest of Myanmar, in the Chin state. The rebels there belong to the Chin National Army. It's one of the many ethnic militias in Myanmar. On Sunday, this group attacked the Myanmar army. The army has a base in the border town. The rebels attacked it. They besieged it overnight, withstood constant airstrikes air by the junta. And by yesterday evening, they captured the town. Needless to say, it's a setback for the ruling junta. They've been losing ground around the nation, ground and soldiers. Some troops are even fleeing to India to escape the rebel uprising. As a result, Myanmar army start uh, taking shelter towards Mizoram. And, nine, and, and 39 of them surrendered to Mizoram police last evening. This morning again, we still capture two Myanmar army. And apart from that, another one is also injured. Uh, that is already admitted in Champai Civil Hospital yesterday evening itself. So the total Myanmar army who got surrendered in the hand of Mizoram police are 42 in number. For India, this is a major cause of concern. The tension is spilling over. The fires of rebellion in Myanmar will not leave India unscathed. And it's not just troops crossing over. India is seeing an influx of refugees too. More than 5,000 people who took refuge to Zokhotar and Bufekjol. These are the two villages along the border. 5,000 refugees have entered India and this is just the beginning. Tens of thousands have become internally displaced in Myanmar. They're trying to flee the fighting on the ground and the junta's retaliatory airstrikes. This is all over the country. Let me show you a map of Myanmar. The rebel offensive began on the 27th of October in the eastern Shan state. Three rebel groups came together to form the Brotherhood Alliance. Now the fire and the fighting has spread to all these other states. The rebels keep releasing videos. They're claiming to have captured key cities from Kale in the north to Kunlung in the east. <laughs> And it's also spread to the towns at the border with India and China. So everywhere you look, the rebels seem to be making gains. In fact, they even claim to have shot down a jet, one of the junta's jets. The rebels say they brought it down. This was in the Kaya state. It borders Thailand. Rebels have been on the move there as well, and the junta is scrambling. They've declared a curfew in the west, in the Rakhine state. And in Shan, they've imposed martial law. Remember, this is where the rebellion began. This is also where the rebels have made the most gains. They've taken over several towns and captured over 100 military outposts in Shan. So will martial law help the junta reverse its losses? Or will it inspire more rebels to join the fight? It's hard to say at the moment. Myanmar's military took over the country in February 2021. They pulled off a coup. They ousted the democratically elected government, imprisoned top leaders like Aung San Suu Kyi, and proceeded to rule with little opposition. These rebel groups have been around, but they've been quiet for years, biding their time perhaps. Now it seems every group has decided to act at once. It's the biggest challenge to the military's authority since the coup. And given the way this fire is spreading, the junta's problems may get worse in the coming days.